Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick, easy, and super lazy crochet style that I did on my hair. And so of course I had to just start off by washing my hair. Always start with fresh hair, y'all. Um, I started by washing my hair and then I'm just sectioning my hair off into parts so that I can detangle and moisturize. Um, with protective styles, it's definitely uh, important for you to moisturize and make sure that your hair stays moisturized uh, with protective styles. So I just comb through a, a general amount of leave-in conditioner into all the sections of my hair again just gently detangling and making sure that everything is nice and saturated I did not blow dry my hair I just towel dried it so um, it is definitely still wet now uh, how you part your hair is completely up to you I just did a bust down middle part um, I actually started to section it off into four sections but I actually ended up with three at the end but again you can play with this and kind of make it your own style it definitely is not a lot of rules when it comes to crocheting so um, I had sectioned it off into four and then I just came back and I just uh, re kind of redid the front and I put it into two parts in the front and then again this is super quick easy and lazy so I'm not putting a lot of thought into it um, I'm not going to be doing any braiding so I just kind of twisted the two parts in the front and then I just secured them in the back with the hair tie again quick easy super lazy you don't want to put a lot of thought into it this is this is the hairstyle for you so i'm just going to do um a little bit of holding product here on the front just to calm my edges down and make sure everything is nice and smooth before i get started here's the hair i'm going to use which is a water wave um i did get two packs of this hair i believe it was 11.99 a pack something like that so this was the 18 inch and i just cut it in half you could definitely buy shorter or longer again crochet hair is very versatile in what you do with it so when i crochet the hair in i am just doing a double knot uh, just to make sure that it's secure and again you can fill it in as much as you want or have it as light as you want I like a fuller look so I'm putting my crochet pieces a lot closer together uh, but you can definitely space them out a little bit more if you want kind of that thinner look so I'm just working my way up to the top again this looks very nice and full um, I'm not worrying about the length or anything I will cut that at the end um, but I did have to go into that second pack of hair so I probably used a little bit about a pack and a half or so of hair um, so this was definitely cost me less than $20 uh, to do so as I started to get to the front y'all I'm just going ahead and filling in any parts that I think are a little bit light and then when I got to the top I was just like I don't want to keep doing this so I'm going to see what this looks like up in a ponytail <laughs> again the hair is very versatile you can do what you want with it but I did kind of just pull the top into a ponytail and then I went in and cut all the ends just to make sure everything was nice and even again you can make this as long or as short as you like but I just kind of even everything up just to make sure I didn't have any scragglers as I was uh, as I was doing this and so I'm starting to like fluff it a little bit and make sure that I'm evening everything up and this is what it looks like on the side and the back again from start to finish probably like an hour and 15 minutes something like that and so here is the ending result y'all I love it again I, I, I like the fact that I didn't have to do all of the top and it still looks nice and full it still looks like a beautiful hairstyle so definitely let me know in the comments if you try this see you in the next video